mic check one two okay cool what up youtube it's brother mr cafe con leche <laughs> um rocking with y'all for another tutorial um if you read the description which i'm sure you do, did uh we're rocking with the impc pro file system you will need an ipad a way to connect your iPad to your computer, which is like a lightning cable or a nine pin cable, and you'll need uh, iTunes, probably the latest version. So, once you connect to iTunes, go ahead uh, to your particular phone. Uh, you could use the iPhone for this tutorial as well. Um, you'll go to app section, and then you'll scroll down to documents. In this case, we're going to be using IMPC documents, so you'll highlight IMPC Pro, and then you'll get the document section. All right. So inside of IMPC Pro, if you're in the main mode, the uh, the doc the uh, files are located in Program, and you'll probably be in Parameters when you go into Program. Click on Sounds uh, Sounds in the bottom right hand side, and so you'll have Akai sounds and my sounds and so you can also search for sounds you just click in the search box you get a blah 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 and of course I don't have any sounds <laughs> that have uh, those characters but like uh, let's just say I want a snare S-N-A-R-E type in snare and then I close on keyboard and all my snares pop up and so that's pretty awesome and then you can audition them by clicking on the little sound wave okay all right so i'm gonna go to my sounds because this is the section that we'll be working with right right and uh i want you to take a look at the elaborate file system uh this placed here it's pretty cool so um it's everything from acoustic to um breaks which this is one of my own personal uh folders that i made for my uh drums and whatnot um it's a pretty elaborate system and so you have uh you know your hip-hop uh sample uh folder uh this is my personal folder for uh hit uh hits and stabs and then you have uh, your iTunes file transfer bank which we're really bypassing right now resampled sounds which you can sample from inside of your um, MPC <laughs> which is really cool IMPC and um, you have your user banks and whatnot so what we're gonna do is take this entire file system and we're going to uh, write to it what we want and we're going to take things from it that we want and then we'll place them back on the iPad so what this is really useful for is taking your sounds from your computer and then placing them into uh, your iPad okay so the first thing I want you to take note of is inside of IMPC uh, documents you have the uh, MPC Pro uh, folder. This was 2.4 gigs, and uh, this was written on uh, the uh, 4th of January 2017 at 10:38 a.m. So the simple way to uh, begin to manipulate the file system in IMPC Pro is to take this folder and to drag it onto your desktop. Now, I'm not going to do that because I did it previously and I have it here. So, you would do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open this file system up. And you'll notice that everything that is in uh, IMPC, let's close that out, is uh, inside of this particular uh, file folder system. Now, uh, What's important to remember is we don't want to manipulate uh, any of the user banks too much 
if you want to put something in there, fine. I wouldn't advise deleting them. Uh, you could, you know, and uh, just work with your own particular file system. But uh, it just depends on what you're trying to accomplish. I'm going to show you some basics. And uh, you can go from there and do what you want. Uh, but just really be careful with uh, deleting things because if you delete something that you need, um, you may not get the chance to uh, get that back uh, once you go through the syncing process. Okay? All right, so we have all of our files here. And what I want to do in this particular situation is to take a sample out that I didn't want and it's in funk it's in the funk soul bank there's an Al Green sample there that I don't want so I'm going to take that out and I'm going to toss him in the trash right so if you look on my iPad in the funk soul you see the Al Green sample there. I don't want that sample anymore. So we'll delete that. And what we will do also is uh, I'm going to find a sample that I want to place on. Let's see here. Uh, find some loops some brass loops and then what I'll do is uh, I'll rearrange these by kind okay and inside of our PC Pro let's see where should I put this in jazzy hip-hop mmm I think I'll just put this in iTunes transfer file bank because I don't know what I want to do with them yet. So I'm going to take these and highlight them. Then I'm going to drag them into the folder. And these are coming from my external drive, so it may take a minute to write. All right. So now I want to, okay, cool. Now that we have these inside of the MPC Pro bank let me make sure that all of these are waves yes 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 yeah all of these are waves all right once we have those wave files uh, transferred into i'll put those in i gotta remember i put them in the itunes transfer uh, file bank once those are in there i took the algorithm sample out i put these in cool now what we want to do is go back to iTunes, bada bing, bada bip, and where it says, uh, where we have the document section, we want to make sure that we didn't change any of these characters for the name of the folder, and we want to make sure that uh, it matches this. Then we take that folder that we just manipulated, drag it directly into iTunes, it's going to say, hey, we already have one of these. And so you'll just hit replace because you want the newer version. And this takes a little while depending on how large the file is. Um, and uh, it's telling me I'm not connected to the Internet. That's fine. Um, depending on how large the file is, this is only about like two gigs. So it, it takes a little minute. I'm hoping that Internet connection didn't block me from replacing it should pop up pretty soon so it's going to copy those files from my desktop into iTunes <coughs> into the apps and into the apps document section and into IMPC Pro uh, IMPC Pro's file system. Another cool thing about IMPC Pro's file system is that uh, you don't just uh, have a you you not only have a section for your sounds, but you also have a section for your projects. You have a, a section for your programs, 
and of course uh, you can sync from audio paste and uh, this uh, links up with audio copy and audio copy more or less uh, can uh, transfer um, sounds from uh, different uh, sources that you record um, from other apps and also uh, it has a uh, file share section um, that you would use if you were to purchase samples from the audio copy store okay so that's pretty cool um, let's see uh, so in the Akai standard banks um, you have acoustic brass cymbals electronic funk soul hi-hats hip-hop jazzy kicks loops percussion uh, rock snares toms vocal and world uh, samples and so just like I was showing you earlier uh, it's very easy to just click on the wave next to the text file name and uh, audition the sound to see what it sounds like and world sounds probably wasn't the best thing to click on let's see let's go to loops and uh, these are default sounds with the app once you purchase the app So that's pretty awesome. Um, the uh, parameters section uh, give you a really good uh, grasp on manipulating uh, filters and whatnot for sound. Um, one thing that's really dope, if I tap on this knob, it gives me a really good uh, view of how to uh, adjust the volume I can do it by increments of one or I can even do do it by snapping it into place and so that's pretty cool music. and so I recorded this Burla music sample uh, via my app placed it on the uh, pad and uh, as you can see here um, it's a uh, very uh, accurate in the timing and when I press it um, I can tweak the panning and uh, the filters and all those things and so the files are very important I figured uh, that doing a tutorial um, based on the file system right after the overview will give you a really good grasp on where you need to start um, a lot of seasoned producers may want to take their arsenal of sounds that they already have and stick it on the iPad this is the way to do that um, or you may be a beginner trying to figure out hey you know how do I get sounds into my iPad um, this is the way to do that and uh, I'll actually uh, show you how to. Let's start a new project. We'll close that. And I'll start a brand new project. And I'll leave it blank. new projectile all right I'll go to the program section and the sound section and I'll look at my sounds and I'll say hey I want to find uh, I want to find a brass sound I'm in the bass section Let's just say I want a, a loop. And 
I want a 8-bit loop. So what we would do is take that sample, drag it onto the pad that we want. And what's really cool is we can also drag it multiple times. And then we can also uh, take that sample and go back to the parameters area. And uh, we can manipulate it by placing it through a filter. giving it resonance, panning it, and uh, all different types of things. Uh, in this first section of the mixer, you can see that we have our master, and then in track one, we have this particular uh, program. And I'm going a little bit deeper than I thought I would on this first uh, file system, but it really all works together. So we have this one file on the first mixer, and so once we tap on the mixer we can drag that with our finger we can snap it by placing two fingers and we can also just you know drag the fader uh, to manipulate the uh, volume of the file so um, that works we have effects here um, for each uh, program or sample that you have highlighted and so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Let's check on this operation. So it looks like we have everything transferred over. So at this point, what I would do is close uh, IMPC out. I really didn't want to save that. And then I'll reopen it so it will recopulate and open up the uh, samples that we just wrote. So, I'll load up this particular project. Program, sounds, my sounds. Now, if we look in the funk soul section, you remember the Al Green sample was there, now it's gone because I don't want it there anymore. And if we go back to the iTunes transfer bank, you'll see that all of those samples, those horn samples that I wanted to transfer over, if I can get it to play, those horn loops are located inside of this area. So then I can then begin to uh, take these samples, play them. Oh, that's a sub-bass sample, I'm sorry. Should have picked the horn sound. I like that harp, let's place that there. Okay, so we'll go to main mode. Actually, let's go back to program. We'll go to edit sound. Let's chop him up. Cool. We'll take this chop. We'll chop that to the pads. We'll use the auto chop. And we'll click done and chop that to the pads. We can rename it and do everything we need to do. I don't feel like doing that right now. Um, but uh, we have our sample here and we're good to go. And that's how you manipulate, extrapolate, copulate the file system in IMPC Pro. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right? Peace.